If you've had anything to do with ultrasound, you will notice that measurements are in dB, in the dB scale dB microvolts if you look at the details of it. And when people see dB the first time and um, look at what does it mean if it, if it doubles and uh, well if the, the uh, amplitude of the sound doubles and the dB changes by 6 dB or something like that. It's like why use this dB? Why is it so complicated? Well the problem is when we look at the kinds of sounds that we're dealing with, the ultrasound, we're dealing with very low amplitude ultrasound in the presence of very high amplitude ultrasound. And if we just looked at the actual voltage or that comes from our sensor, there's a great wide range. We'd be dealing with small numbers and really big numbers. So to simplify it and for other reasons, uh, we use the dB scale. Now I've got a strange way of explaining the dB scale. Um, imagine, if you will, you're standing there. So there you are and you've got this rat next to you, and the rat is one-tenth of your height. Okay, it's, it's either a big rat or a short person, but the rat is one-tenth. You can see there on the scale there, 0.1 the height. But imagine if you were standing next to a building which was standing next to a tower. Now, with that tower in view, we can see the building. If you look really closely, you can see the little man and you can't see the rat. Now the tower is 10 times the height of the building, which is 10 times the height of the man, which is 10 times the height of the rat. It's a big rat. And you might say, why am I talking about this? Because if you were dealing with uh, ultrasound on a linear scale and we have amplitude levels that are 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times the amplitude, it's very hard to see them on the same scale. So instead, we use and we talk about the dB scale. And what we're doing is we just change it so that there's an equal, you know, 0 0.1 to 1 to 10 to 100. And of course, we'd go up to 1,000 and so on. And now we can see the tower, the building, the man, and the rat all on the same scale because we're now using a logarithmic scale and dBs are a way of representing logarithms. So, you know, sometimes uh, dBs can be confusing and in the class we go through lots of examples and how to, you know, truly understand it. But anyway, that's probably enough for now. Having said that, Imagine we've got a little sound source here, and here's my little ultrasound institute. No, Mobius does not make ultrasound instruments. We just make simulations of ultrasound instruments. But as I point my device towards the sound source, you see the amplitude goes up. And if I move it towards the sound source, you know, you can see the needle there, how it changes. And so, you know, if we go right up to the sound source, it's 100 dB. And if we come back here, it's about 50 dB. But if I change the scale to read in microvolts, you can now see it's going from, well, 348 microvolts. We get closer and we get closer and it goes right up to a very large number. So you can see from a microvolt linear scale, the numbers vary greatly. So we use a dB scale.